With the release of DLC 2, we have so many new items to experiment and thus so many new builds. In this video, let's check out the true undying build. Now to check if the build is really undying, I tried a few boss fights. First one was the one true king. Basically what we need to do is keep using the relic, the bloodless heart. This relic has 50% innate use speed and it will provide a shield for 3 seconds. This shield prevents all kind of damage except for grabs from bosses, elites or other enemies. But we have only 10 uses and each use will get us 3 seconds of invulnerability, which is not enough for any boss fight. For the boss itself, the one true king has a lot of AoE moves along with beams and other extra enemies which can spawn in the fight. But as long as we keep spamming the relic, we can get almost 100% uptime on the iframes. Also, the relic has another effect where enemy hits phase through us without actually staggering which makes this build truly undying. None of the hits are actually connecting thus we have 100% uptime. Now let's check if this works with other bosses as well and I will add the complete one true king fight at the end of the video after the build explanation. Now the next boss is Cinderclad Forge and let's check if we can phase through the tricky attacks of this boss. Now as long as we are spamming relic within the 3 second window it is still working and now, the, uh, now for attack I will be using Miasma and Way of Keula along with Sandstorm mod from the monolith. The intention here is to apply as many kinds of status effects as possible and use the attack bonus from the Ahane's ring. From the release of DLC 2, slow also counts as a status effect. For that we can use Song of Appear. Next up we have Annihilation. To be honest I didn't expect this build to work on him but it does. 99% of the moves from Annihilation will be completely ignored with this build except for the root grab attack from the ground. Now this stack will still grab us but if we have shield active from the bloodless heart it won't be a problem. There is another interaction of this build with invoker relic perk. On relic use it extends duration of invoker skills by 25% and relic use speed by 25% both of which are required for this undying build. As for the trade point distribution, most important traits will be flash caster and gluten so that we have increased consumable speed and skill casting speed. For the arch type, we have invoker as primary and skill selected is way of Kayula, which gives us haste and keep enemies drenched. Secondary skill will be ritualist with miasma skill. In the amulet slot, we have emergency switch which reduces chance to consume relic by 50%. In the first ring slot we have conservation seal which also reduces the chance to consume relic by 50% if total HP is restricted at 50%. Now we'll use restriction cord ring in the second slot to restrict our total HP to 50% due to which we now have a 100% chance not to consume a relic so now technically we have infinite relic uses thus infinite invulnerability flames for the bloodless relic. Now the next two ring slots are open for more experimentation with different rings. For this build I am using Burden of the Destroyer and Arne's Crystal to deal damage through status effects but we can use these two slots to modify this build even further. Next up is the handgun slot I am using Tech 22 along with Twisting Wounds and Song of Affair for extra status effects for more damage. Krelex with Tainted Blade for extra corrosion stacks. Monolith as Long Gun mostly for the extra damage from Sandstorm. Now for the relic fragments we have mythic skill cooldown, mythic skill duration and consumable speed. Leto's armor for the high armor value to survive a hit if we get clipped. This build has a lot of potential for further modifications so let me know what are your thoughts about this build. And I will start the complete boss fight against one true king and annihilation from here. So guys if you like the video please consider subscribing and as always thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.